Peace. In this week's NBA news video, I'm talking about crazy games, shocking injuries, and surprising standings. Hang on to find out what happened. Let's go. Crazy games. Let's start with Timberwolves against 76ers. I think you already heard about that. Carl Anthony Towns and Joel Embiid had themselves a night. They both got ejected for going at each other. The fight himself was not that big of a deal, but the whole trash talking on and off the court is very interesting to watch. This happened on social media. Joel Embiid posted this and said, I grew up around lions and the cat pulled on me. He also faces Jimmy Butler, which leaves room for speculation that Jimmy told Joel some secrets about Carl Anthony Towns at his time in Philadelphia, which is a pretty... <sighs> That's a move. Carl Anthony Towns responded with this post, letting Embiid look like a... and saying Embiid's behavior is all cap. I'm really looking forward to this rivalry on the next matchup of these two teams. Scenes like this don't happen that often anymore. But wait, something is confusing me about that. In September, Joel Embiid posted this funny Instagram challenge and nominated Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell and his teammates. Are these two bodies or was this just a troll from Joel Embiid? Who knows? But let me know what you think about that. Next up, Houston at Washington. This game went down to the wire. The score looks like an overtime or a second overtime game, but it all played out in regulation time. It was the second highest regulation game in NBA history, with a combined score of over 300 points. There were some outstanding stat lines. The Brody, Russell Westbrook obviously had a triple-double. The beard James Harden was back in MVP mode and had 59 points and 9 assists. Bradley Beal had 46 points, 6 rebounds and 8 assists. And what makes me really happy to see is Isaiah Thomas' deadline. He had 17 rebounds and 10 assists off the bench. One funny side fact, James Harden told in an interview that they won the game because of their defense. Really James? Injuries Stephen Curry has broken his left hand and had to go on the surgery. The Golden State Warriors are in big troubles early in the season. They are currently 1 and 3 and their defense is looking terrible. And now with the broken hand of Steph and Clay's ACL, two of their most important players are missing due injuries. I really hope the recovery of both is quick and uncomplicated so that the Warriors may could squeeze in a playoff spot but I highly doubt it. Surprising standings. Miami Heat. The Miami Heat are performing pretty well. Even without their best player Jimmy Butler and a rookie backcourt of Kendrick Nunn and Tyler Hero, they secured three wins. Even more surprising is the fact that the team leader in points per game currently is the undrafted Kendrick Nunn. In their game against the Milwaukee Bucks, they were down as many as 21 points, but still managed to get the win. Now Jimmy Butler is back and so far they are looking better than expected. The Brooklyn Nets The Brooklyn Nets have currently one win and three losses. All of their games so far have been very close and even went to overtime. The concerning thing is that they have played mainly non-playoff teams like the Pacers, Grizzlies and New York Knicks. With such a deep lineup like they have, I want to see them do much better. Kyrie Irving is doing his thing and plays well, but the team success is not there. Western Conference Number 1 seed Utah Jazz The Utah Jazz are currently the number 1 seed in the stacked West. The Jazz played against both LA teams, they lost against the Lakers and won against the Clippers. Time will tell where they will end up in the competitive West. The competition is pretty high and the season is still very young. Coming up to the last seed of the West, the Sacramento Kings. The start of the Sacramento Kings went everything other than planned. With a young upcoming backcourt of Jaron Fox, Bogdan Bogdanovic and Buddy Heald, the Kings front office had expectations to make the playoffs. To this point, this looks very hard to achieve. Four of five losses were against Western Conference teams. The fifth game, they lost to a team without a superstar 
four playoff ambitions, the Charlotte Hornets. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you stick till the end. Consider subscribing for more NBA content. Here you see my last highlight reaction video. Check it out if you want to. Have a good day.